In this video, we'll take a look at the best 360 video editing software options to help you decide which is the right fit for your 360 videos. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video. We release a ton of content to help you get better results with your videos faster. If you're new here, then make sure you click that big subscribe button and all the links to everything that we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description below. So let's jump into it. 360 video is becoming increasingly popular. It's just crazy now the amount of 360 cameras you can pick up for under the two and $300 price point. But when it comes to editing 360 videos, you can imagine that things get a little different compared to regular video. Now support for 360 video editing is rolling out through the major software packages. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at the best options that we've played with that are currently available. Before we start, let's cover why 360 editing is a little different to editing regular videos. The obvious reason is that your footage isn't flat and you're not viewing just one camera angle, you're actually viewing two or multiple camera angles to build up the full 360 spherical video. So how we edit those typically is done with what's called an equirectangular video file. So it's essentially the flattened version of those two cameras or multiple cameras, depending on the camera that you're using. So it's the flattened version of your 360 spherical video that we're gonna be editing. So essentially the actual editing of that flattened video file is exactly the same. The way that we can cut and trim and reposition our clips and move everything around is going to be exactly the same on that regard as to normal video editing. But it's not until you start adding graphic elements like titles or graphics or logos into your 360 spherical space that you're gonna have some differences come into your editing process. And that's where Adobe Premiere and Power Director are really standing out at this point. Both of those programs will let you view and play back and move around in your 360 spherical video in real time while you're editing to position things like your titles and graphics and really play back and see what your viewer will see at the time of editing. A software like Final Cut only supports it with additional plugins and plugins like 360 VR Express, which I'll put a link in the description if you wanna check it out. So without the plugin though, you can still edit your 360 videos down. You're just seeing that equi-rectangular or flattened 360 video image while you're editing. And there's no way to preview it without a plugin like this one. So at this stage, as I said, the two primary options you've got for decent 360 editing, where you do have that immersive editing and full 360 playback of your videos, you're looking at Adobe Premiere and Cyberlink PowerDirector. So it's important to note here that as we look at these two pieces of software, that this isn't a how to edit 360 video. This video is looking at my thoughts and my opinions after using both of these software packages for editing and specifically editing 360 videos. So essentially these two do pretty much exactly the same thing. They'll both let you play back your videos in 360. They'll both have a mode where you can actually click and drag and interact with your video. You can position your titles, your graphics and everything and see what they look like or see what the viewer will see before you export and try to play back on somewhere like YouTube or Facebook. In regards to actually editing and moving these titles and things around, Personally, I am a big Adobe fan. I really like the power that you get in Adobe Premiere Pro. PowerDirector though is surprisingly fast and has a lot of grunt in it as well. Obviously PowerDirector is Windows only. So if you're gonna be editing 360 videos on Mac, then definitely say to check out Adobe Premiere because you won't have the option of using Cyberlink Power Director. So essentially Adobe Premiere and Cyberlink Power Director will let you do the same thing. It's the way that they edit the videos though that is the biggest difference. Now, typically Cyberlink Power Director is a less professional video editing platform than Adobe Premiere. The power and the performance that you get behind Adobe Premiere and the tools for color correction and effects and titles and everything far surpass what you get in Cyberlink Power Director, but also it comes with a different price tag as well. Cyberlink Power Director is a one-off fee versus a subscription based for Adobe Premiere. Cyberlink Power Director is Windows only, whereas Adobe Premiere is Mac and Windows. So some of these things may come into play when you're making the decision. What I would recommend is if possible, download a trial version of each and see which one is going to be best for your workflow and is gonna allow you to edit these 360 videos the quickest and most efficient way. In regards to the tool sets themselves, specifically for editing 360 videos, there's definitely more bells and whistles in Cyberlink Power Director at this point in time. Just the little things like how you can get full control over where your titles are and how they look in 360 space versus 
the more basic cut down tools that you have in Adobe Premiere. But Adobe Premiere though seems to be releasing more updates and more functionality and really streamlining this process much, much faster than than Cyberlink and any other video editing software out there, at least for now. So it's definitely something that if you're not gonna jump straight into, it's worth keeping an eye on because there's some cool stuff coming by the look of it. The main difference I see between the two editing applications when it comes to editing 360 videos, besides some of the minor things that I just mentioned with titles and positioning, in Cyberlink PowerDirector is just the power of the editing applications when you're comparing them to just for video editing in general, not specifically for 360. So with the Adobe Premiere side, you've got way more performance and power and control, things like color correction, effects, and all the rest of it that comes with the Adobe Pack. Cyberlink though, being a more beginner or entry level video editing software. You can still get great results with it. It's still an awesome editing application, but doesn't have the same level of professional tools that you will find in Adobe Premiere. So in regards to editing of the 360 video, my personal preference is Adobe Premiere Pro because of the amount of tools and control that you'll get. It is missing some of the little advanced features when it comes to 360 editing, but you can get plugins for pretty much any video editing application now to allow you to edit 360 video and preview videos using whatever application. The 360 VR plugin that we mentioned earlier, you can also get versions for Adobe Premiere to give you more of the features and tool sets around 360 editing. You can also get them for Adobe After Effects and Apple Motion as well. Now this is just one plugin. There are other plugins that are available as well, but this one seems to be the most popular and in my experience, it is the best bang for buck as well. If you're gonna be using most of the consumer 360 cameras around and you wanna edit the footage off the more basic cameras, the ones that are at the sort of 200 to 300 or 200 to $500 price point without getting into the full professional solutions, then this is going to be everything that you'll need. So my suggestion then, if you're looking for great results editing 360 videos, then it's definitely worth checking out Cyberlink PowerDirector. It's something that's not to be taken lightly or jump straight into the more professional solution or the complete package when it comes to video editing, which is Adobe Premiere Pro. But either one will give you great results when it comes to 360 video editing. If you found this video helpful, then make sure you click that big subscribe button if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up and check out the video linked on screen now for how to live stream in 360. I'll see you soon.